Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Yeah, I've been sitting here this whole time pondering what I should do. And you know what I thought? I should go around to all the clubs and see what trades they have that we can do now. Because remember I said I would do them later? And also, see what the dialogue is like post-game on, on these in these side rooms. Ah, you're meant to seem to be doing well. Me, I'm just fine since I've gotten a few Pokemon card games in today. Very nice, very nice. They see you, I can face your island. No, he's tempted of going there to challenge any of any aim in your water club. Not any. Uh, hey, it's you. I finally got accepted at the Team GR. Yay! It's all thanks to that amazing Dark Blastoise you traded to me. You're welcome. Huh? What happened to my glasses? Oh, I got tight contacts to look cool. <laughs> I see! Uh, oh, that's the main room? So, wait, actually, hold on, maybe I should go ahead and... Thank you for visiting the GR Water Fortress. Okay, it's not really anything different there. Uh, let's go to the Psychic Stronghold, I suppose. Let's kind of work our way back to the airport. I'm surprised, you must have amazing courage to defy King Felicini. But you are a real tough cookie in battle, weren't you? Our organization has a huge reform since then in our beliefs. Good to hear. Oh, 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 do you remember the card you gave me? It was Dark Kip in the level 26. I've been using it well. Yay! <laughs> a fierce longing to meet Miss Heidi. You never have a chance <laughs> since you opposed Team. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Hold on a sec here. Are you saying that no one could battle their way through and change the organization's goals? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, regrettable. <laughs> right. Oh, and yes, you know that the counters at the top always have the same dialogues and stuff. Thank you for visiting Team Jera Psychic Stronghold. Oh, you just had to copy and paste all the dialogue from all the places. Uh, anyway, Fighting Fortress, let's go fighting Fire Fortress. You know, the fight uh, Fighting Fortress has only that one side room. I mean, excuse me, no side room, excuse me. It's more like the back room, and it's uh, all of a maze, and yeah, there's no side dialogue and stuff. Heard tales about your attempts to fight Team GR by your lonesome. Fighting solo, you have my respect. This Charizard level 76 card could really help your efforts, you know. I'd be glad to trade it for a Dark Charizard level 38 card. Well, I'm kind of having both, but you know, for the sake of dialogue... Oh, you, you do have a Dark Charizard level 38 up for grabs. Let us trade in that case. And we got a promotional Charizard. Yeah. So, you actually do want this Charizard <laughs> for your collection. It's, it's the same Charizard that you know with Energy Burn and Fire Spin, but with a different image. So yeah, uh, Team GR is far too partic uh, particular about their jack deck standards. Though I guess after fighting you, they have their reasons. <laughs> Team GR's disposition has changed a little since he started resisting. It very well may be a good thing. Indeed, indeed. King de Villasini, defeated at last. I'm finally free to be myself. Nah, I like to both collect cards and battle with them. Happy days, indeedly do. And let me guess, let me guess. Yep. <laughs> Alright, um. Oops, nope, nope, no, oh, no, okay. <laughs> Electric Fortress is up next. And wait, 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 wait. I thought so. <laughs> Wish that girl would shut up about that dumb dark right you level 31 card. <laughs> That's the one that you wouldn't give up. Yeah. Remember that they were fighting about that before? Is if anyone would help her make a deck to join Team GR? Uh, hello, how are you meant? Did you come to duel me? I'm up for a card battle any time. You ready to fight? No, I believe I've beaten you before. No, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Just keep me in mind if you're looking for a rousing card battle. Don't you want this rare Pikachu level 16 card? Ooh! Don't I ever! <laughs> you know, I'd still like a Dark Raichu level 31. So I guess I didn't trade the cards, did I? Well, anyway, let's get trading! <laughs> so this is the first promotional card ever released in the uh, English sets. The one you get at the Pokemon trading card game League Event Delios. It's got Growl, 
reduces damage by 10 and causes paralysis with the thunder shock potentially <laughs> it's always a flip when it comes to paralysis because you can't just keep causing paralysis every turn you know <laughs> and i finally have my dark raichu level 31 team gr members are supposed to have dark pokemon cards you know uh well they, they might want to learn a little little thing or two about you know, deck structure, and yeah, I mean, if they fit the deck you're trying to make, good, but if not, don't, don't just plop them in there just because they need a dark Pokemon, you know? Okay, what about you? Yeah, that girl gave you a rare card? Crap, I wish she gave it to me! <laughs> I didn't think there were any kind-hearted people left around here. Yeah, I've decided, I'll work hard to be kind and all. Yes! <laughs> Okay, same dialogue. And finally, Lightning Woman! I was <laughs> always opposed to Team GR's plot to take everyone's cards away. Good! I just, it just didn't sit right with me to simply up and take them all. By the way, by the way, do you know about the Seal Fortress? Supposedly there are powerful decks called the Catast Catastrophe decks inside. Oh, I've, I've heard of them! <laughs> no one I know has ever set foot into that strange place. Everyone shouts and argues about how they can get inside for a peek. Wonder if you'll end up. <laughs> I wonder if you'll end up riled up and disappointed too. Oh dear, my story has become rather long, hasn't it? Yeah, that's what she does. Remember? I'm sorry, but I do like the gossip. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Uh, same dialogue. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're good to go there. Got ourselves more rarities. Grass fortress. <sighs> There it is. <laughs> you. Listen, listen. You know about the Seal Fortress? It's awful. They host the most terrifying decks there. Absolutely no one is allowed inside that building. Except me and killed King Villasini, I guess. <laughs> um, I still have my Venusaur level 67 with an alternate illustration. Woo! You have a dark Venusaur level 37 up for grabs yet? Do I? I don't remember if I do. Well, what? I don't know. I don't think even. Nope, I don't. Okay, so this has gotta be something I have to come back for a little bit later on. Yeah, I didn't think I had that yet. I don't think your island was wrong for protecting your cards anymore. I just feel awful that we took your cards away from you. Well, we got them back! <laughs> anyway, alright. So, back out of here. I gotta remember the Grass Fortress. I feel like writing it down now, actually. But, wait, wait, isn't. Is there anything at the game center that trade for in the side room? I don't think there was. Oh. <laughs> uh, studying the game seat to figure out how to ensure wins. Every time I play, it's lose, 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 always lose. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's great to unwind here. No grits. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's all the same stuff as before. Just wanted to be sure. So yeah, no, no, uh, <laughs> no battling with the all-powerful Red Imakuni right now. You gotta go... Gotta go back to the regular island and see what other trades we can do. I'll see if I can get that Dark Venusaur off-camera. And uh, then I'll plop on over there and we'll get that bad boy of a card <laughs> into our collection. Yeah, anyway. I'm just filling the dead air, basically. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, if you use the airship, uh, same thing. Amazing. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to be sure. I'm pretty sure I did see that dialogue before, but I just wanted to be sure. Um, I guess start at the top and work back down. Oh, no greeter. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> anyway. You know what? Team Gear's former way of thinking was incredibly morose. Not allowing others to act like themselves is really selfish. And yeah, yeah, he's about back by the fire. I swear he's always at the fire club. <laughs> hey, let's trade, baby! You have a flare on level 28 that Team Gear didn't have from you? I do believe I have that! I'll give you this rare Meowth level 14 in exchange for it, baby! Hey, let's trade, baby! Here's my meal level 14! Coming your way, baby! Woo! Remember this meal? Remember this? Well, it's, it's the payday meow. I mean, what payday meow? <laughs> it, it, it earns coins! 
<laughs> like it's using Payday. It's got a regular scratch, but earns coins. You draw a card for each head. Remember that one? Yep. So it's like Payday, you know. <laughs> it's not the actual Payday jungle meowth, anyway. Thanks a bunch, baby! Hey, hey, next game for the Flare of Level 28! You're welcome! Since Team Jar has disappeared, I can play with my cards again! Yay, baby! <laughs> uh, Science Club, I guess, is the closest to the top that's next. You! You did it! Mint! It was all you're doing! Thanks so much! We finally got our cards back! Woo! Well, Ronald helped a little bit, you know, distributing them again, but... <laughs> diligently studying how to play better, it's not easy. How on earth have you gotten so fiercely strong, Mint? <sighs> Energy removal. <laughs> Boy, Pokemon cards sure are a deep and complex subject. Uh, Team Jair has announced their ways. Everything's been peaceful again. Um, yeah, no trades here, I guess. <laughs> no greeters, no trades! It's like a club. That seems to be the next in line for the order of things. Don't say a word! Just hear me out! Oh, keep quiet about it, jeez. I know I used to be a spy for Team GR, but I'm through with that. I just want to be friends with the other psychic, psychotype lovers here. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, not, okay. I thought you might have a follow-up. You know how they sometimes have follow-ups right away. Looks like that Team GR G informant is here again. <clears throat> but you know what? I think she's pretty cute. <laughs> Wonder if we could be friends. Would you possibly trade me an Alakazam level 42? If you do, I'd gladly trade you my level Kangaskhan level 38 for it. Guess what kind of Kangaskhan this one is? If you thought it was that promotional one, you would be correct! Sweet, sweet, sweet! I got an Alakazam level 42 and he does a dance! Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with joy. Here's a Kangaskhan level 38. Woo! Sparkly! <laughs> so it's got... The Dizzy Punch, remember this? This is the one that I kept saying it didn't make me all that dizzy. <laughs> and Mega Punch for 30, so it's not really that good of a, a card in all that honesty. It's just more for the collector's purposes and what have you. Thanks a bunch for trading with me. You're welcome. Damage Swap! Confuse Ray! Alkazam! Level 42 is so cool! Thanks again for trading with me. You're welcome. Looks like that Team GR for- Oh wait, no, no, that's- that, I already did you! <laughs> Mint, you know- do you know lyrics to My Name is Imakuni? Make it shorter! They came in and Yeah, we did see that before, so... <laughs> the lyrics are fun, but we've seen that before. I'm just looking for post-game dialogue, primarily. Rock Club looks to be the next one in line from the top. Uh... Another hat kit! So many hat kits! I don't just collect cards, I make decks with them too. Mm, yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, did you know that Imakuni guy uses a Pokemon card based off of himself? I know! He probably shouldn't use it the way that he uses it! I wanna have a duel with him. It must be such a strong card. <laughs> well, maybe when combined with Dark Primate, and only if you get an attack off. <laughs> All the cards that were stolen seem to have returned. Thank you very much, Mint. It was all thanks to your efforts. You're welcome. Hello there! Hey, let's trade cards. Love to have a Snorlax level 20. What do you have in exchange? In return, I'll give you my rare Jigglypuff level 12. Deal? Sure! Here comes the Jiggly! It's the one with the double edge 40 attacker. Remember that? Remember that? Got the first aid. Can heal him. And there's the double edge. So the first day kind of complements the double edge, sort of. Even though you have to use it on the next turn, you already cost 20 damage to yourself with 50 HP with details. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Thanks again for the Snow X level 20 card. I really needed it. Woohoo! And that is all for the Rock Club. And next should be the Grass. Then just kind of. Flop on over here, since Team GR change your ways, they become our good friends. Woo! And I get so excited when I hear stories about the Grandmasters. I don't think I'd want to duel them, but I'd love to see their cards. Uh... You use a lot of dark Pokémon. <laughs> we should all have fun playing with Pokémon cards each and every day. It took Team GR a while to learn that simple principle. Indeed. Indeed. Well, maybe not that long. 
because if you think about it, I don't think I've played this game for more than 30 hours, so... <laughs> uh, lightning? Yeah, probably. And hi. You did it, Vince! You finally reformed Team GR! I've since become good friends with some of Team GR members. Happy days! You remember the card I'm looking for, I hope. It's Voltorb level 10, but I want four of them total. So, so, would you like to trade? If so, I'll exchange my rare Pikachu level 16 promo card for them. Do I have that many of them? We'll see. Well, let's trade! Here, take my Pikachu level 16! <laughs> yeah! I guess I did! <laughs> Then yeah, it's it, it's another one of these sorts of Pikachu's. The, it's the exact same one as the other one, except it's got a different picture. But it's gotta be put in our collection. I turned one card I didn't need into four that I wanted. Thank you so much. Woo! So wait, what kind of? Uh, I need those four to four Voltorb cards you traded me for my deck. Thanks again. <laughs> so yeah, what which Voltorb was that again? I just want to see. Oh, <laughs> Eh, Volt m m m m m m m m Voltorb... Level... Oh, yeah, yeah, level 13... Wasn't it? What? Wasn't it level 13? Or was it the... I don't remember which one it was already, dang it! I was explaining the Pikachu card! Well, in any case, I have plenty for Dex anyway, because, yeah, I got more than four copies, but I only need four for any given deck, so, yeah. We are still good to go. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I did you before, dang it. <laughs> looky, looky, I finally got to join Team GR. Yay! I was disappointed at first for not receiving one of those cool masks. <laughs> I'm happy now, though, since they gave me this nice hat. <laughs> so, wait, wait, are you now a hat girl? Or... Never mind. <laughs> People have been saying, you're the reason Team GR became friendly. You're great, so courageous, just marvelous! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I did some bows there, but you couldn't see, but I... <laughs> and... And... I guess the Water Club is slightly above the Fighting Club in Pixels, so let's go over there next. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Up, 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 there's someone up here. Hey, tell me, you also find Imakuni strange? Mmm. Eccentric is the way that I would say. <laughs> he dresses in black and stays near the corners of club lounges. I mean, I guess Team JR also acts odd, <laughs> but they're more problematic. <laughs> uh, maybe not anymore, but anyway. You overcame the highest ranking member of Team JR in a full duel. You're the greatest mint! Thank you, th thank you. You can't, I still can't see my bowels, can you? It's better to be peacefully serene, like water, instead of <laughs> instead of coral. That was perfect reading on my parts. And I own Fun Club. Oh yes, I know. I still got to get those promotional cards at the game center on Team GR Island, but the details. <laughs> In the end, Team GR realized it wasn't right to take people's cards. We all have the right to have fun with our Pokemon cards as we like. Absolutely. And oh wait, wait. I should actually go in the corner. I like to trade cards, but I'm a little embarrassed about it. I like that the rare card hit Mon Lee level 23 for my new deck. In exchange, I'll trade you a Mewtwo level 60 if you don't mind. Why, yes, I remember that trade. Oh, what a generous person you are to trade with an old man like me. I'll give you my Mewtwo level 60 in that case. Woo! This Mewtwo's attack set will look quite familiar to you. Energy absorption and sideburn, yep. It's another one of these sorts of Mewtwo's, except with a different picture. So you can use that to power up your energy absorption and sideburn on the same turn. In theory, I mean, <laughs> if like, say, put Mewtwo out, attach a psychic energy to it, Professor Oak other energy cards in your hand away, then use the energy absorption to get those two that you discarded onto there, you can do Cyburn on the next turn for 40 damage. So it can be, can be quite the speedy little critter if things go your way, you know? You know? <laughs> Anyway, I finally got a Hitmonlee level 23! What a joyous day! Woo! Since I've traded cards with you, I felt much more courageous. I feel at ease while speaking with other players now. You have my gratitude. You're welcome. Can you speak to the guy over there? I wonder what he wants. A trade. 
You could have spoke to him too. I hope he knows it's alright to play Pokemon cards with us. Okay, there. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't come over to you just yet after that trade. Maybe older people don't understand younger kids very well. Uh, right, I see. Pokemon cards are also for battling. Yeah, I think I've got it. I can't wait for my first duel. You know, I, 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 I wouldn't mind playing you. I wouldn't mind... Okay. <laughs> and I think that is it. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I should see Mason... Oh, actually, maybe not, because I went. I was here post game already, wasn't I? Hmm. Hmm. I was. I was. Okay, let's just do one thing here really quick. If Shahara's house, see if there's anyone wandering. No, absolutely not. Anything going on here? Nope. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Actually, I should see here too, because I won a challenge. Maybe they'll have different dialogue for me. You have a haunted level 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna trade off my Bill's computer card, sure, just to see that dialogue. <laughs> ah, at long last, I have a Haunter level 17 card. Here you go, let's take your new Bill's computer card that you don't need. Because <laughs> you cheated to get a bunch of them at the game center really quick. <laughs> well, at least I got three legit that you know of. <laughs> so, <laughs> I could have gotten that fourth one from Ronald at the game center if I already came here, uh, went over there before the... Uh, beating the fire, fighting for it, not fire for it, but, eh, not that big of a deal or anything like that, but, <laughs> oh, alright, I finally have all the cards I've been looking for, it's all because of you, thank you, Mario, I, th thank you, thanks so much, Mint, ha ha, ha ha, Mint, you're a true pal, ha ha, you're welcome, seems like every time there's a challenge cup, I'm too busy, when I happen to make it to one, I lose in the first round, I have the worst luck, you should see me with Lickitung. Oh, this challenge is a couple of stories. Your recess. Oh man, I actually should, now that I think about it, go back over to the other challenge hall and see dialogue over there after winning, just possibly. I don't think there's going to be anything new since there wasn't really anything new, new there e anyway, and I think I already did that Lickitung joke before and <laughs> went to that person. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna go take a quick rundown over... Here we go... Ah! Well, that's inconvenient. <laughs> this challenge hall is going on right now. King Cup is starting... I mean, uh, yeah, the King Cup is starting very soon. I know I to get to that. So I guess I can't see the dialogue right now. But you know what I should do? And this is gonna be bad! <laughs> Here I go! Oh! Oh, it's not full? <laughs> oh, I got some for Villasini. Uh, I hope you're playing with your Pokemon cards as energetically as always, Mint! I'm writing to tell you about a new GR Challenger scene you set up in the GR Challenge Hall. I can't even play that right now, they block it off! It's a marvelous machine constructed by the famed Dark the Mason. Please stop by- Oh, he, he made it! Interesting. Please stop by and try it out. It's lots of fun. If you're in 50 wins in a row, you'll be awarded a new a rare, new rare coin. There's also a rare coin that you can get with Mason's other machine back at the lab. It, they're both like the pit of 100 trials in <laughs> the Paper Mario that falls in your door, in a way. So, yeah, but I, you can save after every five games, so... It's the Coveted Gengar coin. Please do your best to earn it. Team GR King Villasini Stern Face. Um, I guess I... Actually, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I probably should because I need to get, have my inbox open to show like the black boxes, stuff like that. But anyway. <laughs> Auto Deck Machine 5! <laughs> it's me, Dr. Mason. I've heard that Team GR King Villasini was finally defeated by your hand, your hand no less. However, your Pokemon card games are still far from over mint. No kidding! Have you tried out all the decks recorded in my auto deck machine? No, I have not even gotten to that. Because <laughs> I was waiting until I unlocked them all so I could show you their makeups and stuff like that. Go on and have a good time playing around with the new, with, with the new and unique decks. Excuse me. Try to capture and develop as many decks as you can. Please continue supporting both auto deck machines one and two. Dr. Mason's research lab general manager, Dr. Mason, contribute to my Patreon to make the auto deck machine number six. <laughs> and anyway, let's go over to Ronald Villasini's deck. How did you get information on this? Like how? 
It didn't sound like you got past the first two! Maybe not even the first one, for all I know. And I feel that this is the final stage of our fight against Team Jar, but I've already lost. It's all up to you now. Please, Mint. Defeat King Villa City. Stop Team Jar! Use your amazing cutting to utilize the full power of your cards! Wait, are you calling me amazing? That means a lot coming from you. I beg you, Mint. Heed the book. <laughs> Heed the book. Wait, wait. Heed the boons of my final scouting mission well, sorry. <laughs> I was completely overwhelmed by Team GR's executives. Because of that, I couldn't gather much information about GR King Villasini. Aha! So he was defeated early. I do know that he has four different decks, though. Moreover, a battle against Villasini is a long ordeal, to say the least. You need to beat him two times, and he switches decks for each match. He'll switch freely between his four powerful decks, so stay alert. Make sure you use your most reliable decks and play carefully. Hang in there, Mints! Ronald! Eh, sort of happy eye, but still stern face. And delete. <laughs> Colorless Altar info? Yo, Mints! I got some info about the Colorless Altar. You'll need to defeat the three clerics there, Seth, Allen, and Avery. Each speech, <laughs> each speech is, each specifies different cards you use in fights against them. Moreover, after a win or loss, they may change a the card they require. It's quite troublesome. <laughs> Every time you lose, you'll have to change your deck all over again, and troublesome it, that's, man, that, that's putting it lightly. But anyway, if you find that you're missing a card and don't know what series of booster pack it's in, try checking out the card album. I taught that before. Fight someone who gives that booster series and see you have all four required cards. By the way, you can always return to your uh, to our home island to see everyone again and challenge them for cards. If you rush, you may mess up. Ronald, we know that face. And Claire's deck of energy removals? Mint, it's Ronald! I required some information about GR Psychic Leader, Claire. Claire is a very wise opponent. She employs a very strange rule. Anytime a player's Pokemon is not knocked out in battle against her, the energy cards attached to it are returned to that player's hand. That means you'll certainly have a lot of energy with this fight. Not really! based on the energy removal tactics, but she's too clever to let you take full advantage of that. See? Okay. <laughs> Remember that she has plenty of energy removal and super energy removal cards inside of her, inside of her deck. Use those cards to ensure you don't get any energy when she knocks out your Pokémon. And be careful of her Dark Gengar's push-aside attack. It can push Pokémon back into your deck. You may have no other choice than to create your own Psychic-type deck with energy removal cards as well. Just like hers. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. I don't know if I would say no choice. I mean, you could just outspeed her with stuff. But anyway, Ronald Stern, we face we know and love. <laughs> Final Deck Machine 4! Mint, it's Dr. Mason. How are your fights with Team GR? We finally collected enough cards from Team GR to get the automatic Deck Machine... Deck Mach 2 up and running! <laughs> you should come see it in the lab! Since the cards have returned, many of our island's players have formed new decks. Why not come back and challenge a few of them to duels? I think I cleared them out! Dr. Mason's Research Lab. General Manager Dr. Mason, happy face with... Oh, mouth! P.S. Have one of the booster packs that you helped recover. Yeah! Let's see what we get. Polyrath, look at this whirlpool, not the water gun, but I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so yeah, you can make this into 50. So it could fit, be fitting to a rain dance deck in some fashions, but I think you're going to be more interested in the whirlpool. Uh-huh! <laughs> <laughs> it's more powerful than Dragonair's Hyper Beam, although not the splashable, of course. And uh, it also does the energy removal tactics, and it's also got 10 more HP than a Dragonair. But also, as a disadvantage to that, it's a stage 2 rather than a stage 1, unlike Dragonair, so, you know, it all, it all balances out, basically. That's a pretty nice little little card over there, though, I gotta say. Is pop in a Pokemon Breeder in your deck, or two, or four, when you... <laughs> you know what I mean here. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a... Uh, did I ever show this one before? I don't think I did. Uh, what's your turn? Oh, you're attacking a flip a coin. If I'd select one trainer card named Mystery... Oh, yeah, I think I did. Uh, yeah, it's it's to recycle your mysterious fossils, and I mentioned you could use it with like item finder and and other stuff to bring mysterious fossils back to keep your fossil Pokemon coming, if I remember correctly. And Surf for thirty, so it's a pretty respectable attack. Two for three. Anyway, let's keep on going here. And looks like we're good. Ronald Brutus's deck. Whoops, I almost deleted it. 
<laughs> I have news, man. I'm telling you now before I forget. I've got some interesting facts to share about Brutus, the GR fighting leader. Brutus uses the Earth Power rule. This rule negates the usual minus 30 damage reduction for any Pokémon that resists fighting attacks. In other words, fighting Pokémon always hit for at least full damage. You might want to try making a deck that panders the fighting's weakness, since resistance is useless. I guess, just hang in there. Use Psychic Pokémon. <laughs> Alright, inbox cleared out! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go ahead and collect some more cards at other places. Probably Game Center, you know, get that Dark Venusaur and stuff like that off camera too, hopefully. Hopefully.